All right, hey Leo, so I am doing a separation read for you guys. <clears throat> and you're gonna know this is your read by what's kind of going on between you and this person. I'm not gonna pull the past because I wanna leave it as open as possible. So we're just gonna see what the current energy is between you and this person. So if that doesn't resonate, check those other placements. And if you're new, welcome. <clears throat> so what we got going on, Leo. We have some single energy, all right? Um, some single energy right here coming through, focusing on your guys' um, selves individually. Um, and with the Nine of Pentacles, that could be a depiction of somebody who treated you um, like an option, um, oh, took, took for granted, took you for granted, um, took for, you know, granted the connection coming through here. Um, right here, we have the Empress card. So this is about... This is a feeling of home, comfort, security, um, abundance. It's love. It's a soulmate dynamic coming through here. Um, but with this nine of pentacles and the seven of cups, I kind of feel like somebody could have been feeling or could currently be feeling like an option, um, especially coming through. Um, you're supposed to be very near and dear to my heart. Um, and while somebody's kind of feeling like they've been negated or neglected, um, I do feel that the other person's coming through as the, having that awareness. Um, you know, maybe they didn't uh, treat you um, as good as they could have. You know, this right here is options. It's taken for granted the, the wish fulfillment that's right in front of your face. So one thing I'm not doing is assigning roles to um, who fills what or who did what or whatever. Um, you know, I just kind of feel like that's the energy. Um, it's almost like you got this um, perfect um, partner, this perfect situation, whether it's you or them. And it's like there is a definite uh, lack, um, especially if you guys never um, came into a commitment status. Or if, you, you know, it's like um, entertaining other options. And then it's like the disconnection is uh, really what kind of puts the... Um, the soul level connection at the forefront of the mind of the person who may have chose to go a different route. Um, and sometimes we have these deep, intense experiences with people that do push us away. For others of you, um, whether you know you were in a committed connection, I just kind of feel like there there may have been some um, neglect when it comes to um, the spouse, you know, whether it's you or them. Um, it's just That's just kind of what I'm seeing. So maybe somebody feeling like, um, they don't matter. Somebody feeling like their energy isn't worth the effort, worth the time, worth the investment, you know? Um, that's just kind of where I'm seeing things um, as played out in your connection, but also to where the current energy is sitting is focusing on yourself, your abundance, your own wish fulfillment, and being in pursuit of your own dreams. Um, so that's kind of what I'm seeing with this. It's not necessarily a negative energy, especially for those of you who have never been committed to this person. Um, especially if that person um, was to treat you as as optional, um, it's like I know who I am. I know I know my worth. Um, I know my value, and I, I I just keep moving on in life. Let's see who we're talking about. Who is this person? We're gonna find out a little bit more of the situation as this energy pops through. All right. So this person. Um, look at that. We have the moon card, which is um, a secret. It's a it's a secretive behavior. Um, and this right here, I'm going to say I, it's almost like the lack of ability to get deep. Um, it's almost kind of like surface energy, not really um, opening up, not really being expressive, um, not really being deep. All right. And then we have the three of pentacles coming through in reverse. Um, you know, if there was any other energies that kind of um, floated through this connection. I feel like that's where the options could come through. Um, and for those that are dealing with this, where it never got serious or never led to commitment, it could be that this person was kind of talking to other people, keeping everything light, um, flirty, airy, um, you know, not really um, putting their sights on any, any serious, okay? And if you guys had been connected to this person in a commitment type of way, it's almost like you kind of found out they were, may have been talking to other people or, um, you know, kind of just 
disrespecting the dynamic of you and them um, on those that were committed and maybe even hiding stuff, maybe finding out stuff, you know, um, about this other person. I can just kind of see some communication that was kind of being strewn through this person's energy, no matter what your situation is, that uh, it this to me is a little bit of a deceit factor. The three of pentacles also showed up in reverse, so it could be indicative of uh, an outside um, influence, you know? So, um, and I feel like this person is well aware of that behavior. So let's just see what their hopes and fears are when it comes to you. Their hopes and fears. Look at that. So the four of wands showing up um, is, is hoping for that positive outcome, but fearing that it might not come through. You know, this is, a, this is where you guys draw on the separation right here, hoping that you guys come back together, but fearing that it might not ever come out of um, the, the healing phase that it needs to, it needs to go into and then come out of and to build, you know, towards that with the Knight of Swords. It's like the hope is I can come in, I can communicate, I can talk, um, but you know, is Leo going to be receptive to that? Are we going to be able to go back to, to this, um, having that vision? It, and even if you guys weren't committed, um, what I see right here is a very, very deep connection. And it's almost like this person is experiencing all of these feelings as you guys are sitting in separation. So let's see how they feel about you. How they feel about you. Excuse me. Sorry about that. We have the Page of Cups coming through, wanting to talk, wanting to communicate, the Page of Wands. That's a, There's a lot of spiritual energy coming through here, you guys. Um, how they, they, I mean, they want to balance everything with you. If this person had kind of showed up in the past as all talk and no action, um, emotional immaturity, um, you know, uh, uh, fast thinking, um, this right here is wanting to kind of repair that. Let me show you who I really can be. You know, I feel like this person does look at you guys as a spiritual, this is some sort of a spiritual concept in here. Um, and really what they want is, they want is um, where that eight of wands comes in reverse. It's about communication, um, you know, and, and the lacking the deep or the depthness, um, the inability to really kind of show what's really happening. Um, it's like this person wants to clear that up. Let me bring truth. Let me bring honesty to you. Um, let me balance where there has been imbalance, where you've seen me be kind of off, off my own beat. Let me show you the real, um, let me come through. Let me be expressive. Um, there's definitely a strong pull for communication here. So let's see, let's see what it is they want from you. That seven of cups shows up again. What they want from you is basically they want, they want you to me. This is like, I am serious about you. Um, but you know, if you haven't felt like that, Leo, um, you're within your rights, especially because that we're carrying that through now. What they want from you is to accept um, whatever it is that they're going to bring to you. Um, the three of wands, having faith. Will you allow this to come back through? Will you be open and receptive? It's almost, you know, depending on the severity of what's happened and transpired with you guys, this person doesn't have a lot of faith that you're going to be open to receiving anything from them. Um, but, you know, we have free will. It's almost like this person's coming through. I want you to know that you are the number one priority. You are all I think about. You um, are everything. And I'm sorry I treated you like an option, but let me show you. Let me show you how serious I can be. Um, let's just see what their intentions are. Their intentions. So with the devil card coming through in reverse, it's eliminating the fears that they had beforehand. All right. Um, this right here is basically saying this person wants to re rehabilitate uh, where they went wrong. Um, they're they're trying they're trying to draw on a new beginning. Whether you guys were committed, whether you just had a deep um, connection um, and it was casual, this person really wants to uh, change the distorted view that they were coming from. Um, whether they were hiding stuff, they want to change that. Um, you know, the moon card coming through with maybe some secrets, maybe withholding some truths. They want to come through. They want to express that with the Ace of Cups, um, bringing a new offer, a new idea when it comes to love. 
extending the offer. Let's redo this. Let's make things happen. If you guys have never had a connection beforehand, a committed one, this person wants to come through because it's like I've changed the way I see things now and I realize your importance and where you sit in my life. Um, and for those of you who have been committed, it's like I need to change um, the way I've made you feel. I need to change um, what I've done, what I've kept hidden, what I didn't show you. I need to change that, you know? So let's see what's... Um, what is coming next? What is coming next for you guys? Um, I, I just really strongly feel for a lot of you, you might not want to take this very far. Um, definitely coming out of the tower. So where you maybe have some negative energy, feelings, and emotions, you guys are coming out of that. All right. Where somebody has been self-centered and focused on themselves and obsessed with themselves and whatever it is that's going on in their life. Um, I do feel like this person is going to have this, uh, they're, they're definitely coming out of that. All right. It's realizing this is a realization. Um, you know, making a decision, um, to come towards. And I almost feel like it's, um, you know, I just kind of feel like you're dealing with somebody who is pretty selfish and I feel like where you're coming into is their acknowledgement of that. Um, but I do feel like the, the choice, the road that you decide to take, Leo, is is all on you. So you get to decide where you want to take that um, connection. So let's just see what is coming through. And you guys may or may not resonate uh, with all of these. I hope that you can forgive me one day. I hid who I really am. That's um, some really strong energy coming through. And my life is not as together as it seems. And I feel like these are coming through and they can go either on your energy, the commitment, connection, or just the... Uh, getting to know you connection or however that would sit. So let's see whose initials come through. We have B, I... H, Z, J, and D. All right, Leo, I'm going to leave it there. You guys have a good weekend.